So Rasheed Rice is a rookie for the Kansas City Chiefs, and it may be a few questions surrounding him. Now, we know last year we drafted Sky Moore in the second round of the NFL draft, and he didn't really get much play time. So what a lot of Chiefs fans are wondering, is it going to be the same situation for Rasheed Rice? Because, I mean, look, all these rumors surrounding D-Hop doesn't make it better. Um, we don't know who's going to get playing time over him. Sky Moore, probably Tony, MVS, and... D Hop is is in the work of talks, so who knows if all of, if all of that happens, like if D Hop joins the Kansas City Chiefs, it's gonna be very hard for she Rice to get playing time, and that's honestly why we need training camp to hurry up because once training camp come, we can see what these dudes do, these receivers do, and it'll give us a better idea of who's gonna make the roster and who's not gonna make the roster. So I can't wait to see that. I'm very excited for that, but I like Rasheed Rice's game now. If he's not automatic player year one, which I doubt, then I could see him being a very good player year two. And the reason why I say this is because when I studied him and watched his film more and looked at his game, his catch radius is something I was very impressed by. His catch radius, the way he could just go up there and get the ball. He's pretty explosive. He's very he's very athletic. Very athletic, explosive. And it's a lot of great aspects to his game. So, yeah, it's really funny how everybody's talking about the DeAndre Hopkins rumors, but Rasheed Rice actually says he models his game after DeAndre Hopkins. So that may be something to look out for. What I think is going to happen to Rasheed Rice is he's not going to have a very good season the first year. I think he's going to play, but he's gonna. it's going to be similar to Sky Moore. He's going to come in the game. He's going to show what he could do and not play the full game. But he's going to make a lot of flashes, a lot of plays. He's going to show a lot of flashes that's going to make you hype for next season. Like, oh, yeah, this dude's going to be a stud. And I feel like Sky Moore, on the other hand, is going to break out this year. Moore, man. Like, when we talk about Sky Moore, like, just hearing that name nowadays make me like, yo, I can't wait for the season to start because I really want to see what he could do. I mean, he has a chip on his shoulder. He's working very hard throughout the off season. And I feel like Rasheed Rice is going to be in Sky Moore's situation, you know, not really playing that much, but still getting involved in certain ways. But he's not going to be a punt returner, thank God. So Rasheed Rice is probably going to come in, get some touchdowns. I can see him getting a few touchdowns. That's what Sky Moore didn't do until the Super Bowl. But I can see Rasheed Rice being more of a touchdown guy because he's a red zone threat. So and Kadarius Tony is going to make things even better. Like the Chiefs have a wide receiver core right now that's full of loaded potential. And that's just the best thing to have. You want a bunch of young dudes with chips on their shoulders with loaded potential. Like, you want a loaded receiver core with endless potential, you know. Like, Rasheed Rice, man, I can't really explain how good he's going to be because I can't tell the future, but I could drop my opinion into it. And I do think in the future he's going to be a solid player. And I love his game. I love his build. He reminds me of one of them, you know, one of them biggest wide receivers and that's what I like, the way he just catches so aggressively, the yards after catch. It's a lot to his game that's there. His route running is solid. He breaks tackles pretty well. He knows how to stay up on his feet. That's another thing about the Chiefs. We have a lot of receivers that's physical now. I see they took a different approach and went for more physical wide receivers, which is a good call by Brett Veach because we had all them small, undersized receivers that can't really do much or outmuscle their defender. So getting dudes like Rasheed Rice, Scott Moore, Kadarius Tony, Justin Ross, that was honestly perfect. And that was well played by the Kansas City Chiefs. And I just love this new approach that they're bringing when it comes to the wide receivers. That's another reason why D Hop is going to fit our system. But, like, people have been saying in my comments, D Hop, if D Hop comes to the Chiefs, then Justin Ross has to get cut. Now, I don't believe that. I think the cut candidate should be Justin Watson. Like, I get he's Mahomes' best friend, but I don't think it's. I don't think it's that serious as y'all think, bro. Like, It's not about friendships, in my opinion, because Greg was Mahomes' friend, and he finally had to get cut. I understand that Greg kept making the team when he was not supposed to, but I don't think it's going to be the same with Justin Watson. But, hey, we'll see. At this point, I would be happy if we get hot, but at this point, I wouldn't really care if we don't because our wide receiver course is so promising. And when you have so much guys with potential to have a 1K or a season, it's like one of them got to have it. You know, one of them definitely got to have it. And I do think that we're going to see one of them pop off for a 1,000-yard season. 
And if I had to guess, it's probably going to be Kadarius Tony due to the fact that Giants fans is trolling him so much. And they're saying oh, he's not good. He's an injury prone wide receiver. He's a bust. Things like that make you want to go on the field and pop off. Shoot, Kadarius Tony wants to pop off, and we're not even talking about on the field. Maybe a different type of field, but obviously he can't do that because he has a future ahead of him. So since he can't do that, he's just going to pop off on the field, let his game speak for himself, um, break dudes' ankles. And Giants fans are honestly lucky we don't play the Giants because Kadarius Tony is probably going to drop 200 yards on them. Maybe the Super Bowl, but I doubt it. But yeah, man, Rasheed Rice, I love his skill set. Catch radius is crazy. He had over 1,300 yards in college this season. I get he wasn't in a top school, but that's still very impressive numbers. It's definitely still very impressive numbers. And what he was doing, he was making it look easy out there, too. Very tough player, man. That's a very tough wide receiver right there. So Brett Beach basically proved that we have Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelce and Andy Reid's a head coach. We don't need Tyreek Hill. Now, that, that's another thing. That makes me think, okay, so if Brevich could just get rid of Tyreek Hill, is he going to really sign D-Hop? And that's that's one thing to think about, keep it in your mind. Does Brevich want D-Hop? I mean, it's been reports that we wanted him, but you never know who to believe, bro, because the media is always going to hype things up and make things seem as what it not is, you know? But, yeah, man, Rasheed Rice, I think he's going to be a problem. Very good player. He's a baller, stud, for sure. And him, Scott Moore, Tony, that's going to be very nice to watch. That's definitely going to be very nice to watch in the future. Justin Ross, if he's on the team, really don't want to see Ross go anywhere else. That would be very sad to watch. And I know y'all been saying I need to talk with more energy in my videos, but I'm sorry. Like, sometimes I just can't. Like, I be tired. It's not my, this is not my only profession, even though I'm trying to make this my living. It's been doing me a little well. Not bad. It's been doing me good so far for a 17-year-old. But I got another channel. I got a lot of stuff that's going on right now, you know. So I've been very tired lately. I got work outside of this, so I've been very tired lately. And when I make these videos, it's either before I'm going to sleep or when I'm just waking up from a, sh like a short nap or a horrible sleep. So, yeah, man. But basically, we're getting towards the end of the video and I just want to say I have a high praise for this Kansas City Chiefs wide receiver core. And we're less than two months away from the season. And it just honestly needs to hurry up. I've never been this excited for an NFL season in my whole life. And I'm excited for content. Hey, I'm excited to sports bet. I'm excited for everything when it comes to the NFL. The Kansas City Chiefs going to another Super Bowl and winning it all. Man, it's going to be very fun. It's me, your boy, Chiefs Priority. And I'm out, man. Peace. Like, subscribe. Hit that bell. Y'all already know what to do. Keep supporting, man. Love y'all. Out.